Okay, after my design is finished, my job now is to choose uh, an intensity scale, a complementary color pair that I'm going to paint my project in with. So I can look back at the front of my folder and I can decide, do I like the colors that get made with yellow and purple, blue and orange, red and green? Remembering that these will be uh, the darkest that they'll be and I'll lighten these values up. Also remembering that as I paint, I need to use at least three of the texture techniques that we practiced in class earlier this week, not including and flat wash. So you need to use some of the more interesting techniques and not just a flat wash. Everything gets painted with a flat wash. So we're all gonna be doing flat washing. And also decide if I want with my project to mix my own custom on a color wheel. Um, if I look back at my partially painted one from earlier, I could decide maybe that I wanna use yellow green and red violet. Now that means I'm gonna have to mix a yellow green and mix Gotham to use for the whole time. So if I find a little bit easier job, I'm gonna go ahead and use two colors in my palette, like the red and a sap green or the phthalo green. So that, like I said, it's entirely up to you because any of those colors around the color wheel work. And if I'm a little bit more interested in using one of these other color combinations, I certainly am welcome to. But I do have to be knowledgeable of the fact that I'm gonna have to mix up some of that color before I start. I'm gonna start this painting before going any further by filling in my intensity scale. So just like when we practice, I am gonna do this 11 value intensity scale first. Now, it's gonna be a little tricky because I didn't leave spaces. So I'm going to wanna make sure that as I'm painting, I am staying inside the lines. And also maybe as I move from shape to shape, I'll show you a little trick. If you're super careful, you can skip just the tiniest little bit. So I added a little bit of blue to my orange now, and if I just don't quite paint all the way up to that line, that can be tricky though. If you even bump it, it will all blend together. So my intensity scale is going to be the first thing that I paint, and I'm gonna paint that whole thing before I paint anything else. So I'm choosing to use um, orange and blue. So I would start with orange on this end. I'm gonna start with blue on this end and gradually mix them from each side until remember I made a tiny X at the middle of my, um, tiny X at the middle of my intensity scale when I design yesterday. And then I'm gonna, gonna go ahead and continue to fill those in as I work my way through the intensity scale. So this is step one, paint your intensity. 